Today I wanted to tell you the story of how I got into my PhD program without a real interview um, and to provide some motivation for those of you that are applying for PhD programs and maybe you feel a little intimidated, this video is for you. Panel, I'm Dr. Gertrude Nontra. I have a PhD in microbiology and immunology. And on this channel, I create videos around productivity and career for students in the biomedical sciences. If that sounds exciting to you, consider subscribing. Now, let's get into the story of how I got into my PhD program without a real interview. So this was back in 2008 when I began to apply for PhD programs. And um, actually this event, I'll tell you about the whole thing. It happens in early 2009. So in 2008, towards the end of 2008, I began to, or middle of 2008, I began to apply for graduate schools, uh, for specifically for PhD programs. Now, if you watch the video where I talk about choosing your PhD topic, you can watch that after this video right here. I talk about the fact that, um, you know, I really, I had a background, I had, I had two bachelor's degrees in biology and nursing, and I really wanted to learn more about the microbial basis of disease. And so I was applying to a lot of infectious disease programs. I applied to programs that would help me on that quest, like help me understand the microbial base of disease. So I applied to a lot of microbiology, immunology programs, infectious diseases programs. And at that point, I think I had received two rejection letters because I think I applied to about three or four programs. So two rejection letters. And I was left with one. I was left with one that was for Temple University School of Medicine. I had applied, I had submitted everything they needed, my GRE scores, my letters of recommendation I had submitted. I had submitted my, um, you have to write an interest letter. I had submitted that. I had submitted everything, but then I hadn't heard back from them. And when I was applying for the program, they had said that you'd hear back from us um, by the end of February. And I hadn't gotten a rejection or an acceptance and the date had already passed. So I remember that I picked up the phone and I called somebody at the Department for Microbiology and Immunology at Temple University. And I said, hello, my name is so-and-so. I applied for your PhD program in microbiology and immunology, but I haven't heard anything back. So I was just calling to check. And I, in hindsight, right, that sounds so brave because I hadn't done that for any of the other PhD programs. I had interviewed with one other PhD program and gotten rejected. I had gotten an outright rejection from another school. And so this is my last scroll. So I called and the lady at the end who I learned later was actually the secretary, the administrative assistant um, for the department said, um, we've already picked the students we're going to pick for our PhD programs, those people have received the acceptance letters. So I was like, oh, okay, um, thanks for letting me know. Um, well, <laughs> so I was, I was kind of disappointed, but like I prayed a little bit and I was like, okay, like something good is gonna happen because again, I had been rejected from all the other ones. So um, the following week, I get an email from this person who I had called the administrative assistant. And she's like, actually, um, Gertrude, um, we looked at your application materials again, and we would like to interview you um, for a, a spot in, in the incoming class. And I was, again, I was really shocked because it's like, wow, okay. You know, and, and again, in hindsight, what I did to call the department was fairly brazen. And the fact that I called, I think that may have communicated to them that I was determined to be in the program. So they were willing to like hear me out, right? So I um, said, yes, I'd be open to having an interview. So I thought that it would be like this big event and I get it on the phone with other people because that was my experience before my first um, PhD interview, which was for a college in Albany, New York, a university in Albany, New York. I even forgotten what the name was now. But yeah, I was on the phone. I had a conference call and everything was really formal, you know. So I thought that this was the same thing that was going to happen for this one. And she's like, no, you're just going to talk with one person um, and, and we'll figure out if we want you to get into the program or not. 
So I said, okay, so we set the date for that. And so the date for that came. And when the date for that came, um, the person actually forgot to call me. <laughs> so I called them again, initiative. I realized that half of the things, like half of the things that I've succeeded at in this life has been because I've taken initiative. So I actually called the individual that I had made the appointment with to have them call me and interview them, interview me. So um, I called and I said, hello, Dr. So-and-so, you were supposed to call me, but I didn't get a call from you. She's like, oh yeah, absolutely. I'm so sorry. I got um, caught up in something. And she asked me one question. <laughs> and the question was, um, so we looked at your um, application materials and it's pretty impressive. And I just wanted to ask you, why are you switching from healthcare to basic science? Because like I told you, one of my bachelor's degrees was in nursing and I had worked in nursing a little bit. And she just wanted to know why I was switching from healthcare to basic science. And I told her, I just said, well, I'm interested in understanding the microbial base of disease. And I think that this PhD program will give me the opportunity to do that. And that's why I am, you know, moving from healthcare into this. Um, I said more than that, but that basically that was my answer. But um, then she said something and she, um, she was like, oh, wow, well, wow, that's really interesting. Well, we looked at your application materials and we think you'll be a great fit for the program. So just expect your acceptance letter in the mail. And I was like, what? <laughs> that's it? And that really was it, people. I didn't have a real wild interview for my PhD program. It was really just one question from one person. And it also really came because... There was some initiative on my part. So, you know, maybe you're applying for PhD programs right now and you've been rejected um, or and you feel really down on yourself or you think maybe you're not smart enough to get into a PhD program. Forget all of that. You are smart enough to get into a PhD program. And if you haven't heard anything, I know sometimes they'll say, don't call us, don't do this. But you never know. Maybe email somebody, talk to somebody. I remember when I was an undergrad, there was somebody that came to talk to us that had gotten into medical school. We would always have these seminars where people that were alumni would come talk to us. And this one guy, I remember him so well, not his face, but what he said. He said he had applied to go to medical school, had been rejected the first time around, and he found somebody on the admissions committee and was like, why was I rejected? And the person told him, you were rejected because of ABC. And he went and fixed those things and came back the following year and he applied and he got into medical school. And in my case, I was rejected from two other PhD programs. I hadn't applied to a lot. This was my last PhD program. I hadn't heard back. I took the initiative to call and I got accepted. And in 2015, I graduated from Temple University School of Medicine with my PhD. And here I am on this video telling you that. So take initiative, don't be afraid, don't get discouraged, you're gonna get in. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share this video with somebody who is also applying to graduate school. And if you wanna check out more videos on the PhD life, career and productivity, um, when it comes to PhDs, check out these videos.